In this tutorial, we're going to look at the preview publish feature that we have in Articulate Engage 360. Now you'll notice that the preview and publish buttons are up here. So if I click on preview, I get a fully functional preview of the interaction. So I can click on things, I can zoom in, I can use the navigation here. Uh, if I want to, I can jump to specific parts of the interaction or I can replay it. Uh, you'll also notice here that I have an option to preview in desktop mode. So when I'm previewing in desktop mode, I get this default player. But I can preview it in one of the mobile modes. So let's say I go to landscape. When I preview it in landscape, uh, you'll see that I have a, a responsive player that's going to respond to that device. And I can do the same thing with the phone landscape mode. Now one of the things you'll notice is um, this particular interaction is set at a 16:9 aspect ratio. So that means it's going to be a little wider. Uh, it works great on the desktop mode because those tend to be a little wider. Uh, but when you're looking at mobile devices, uh, the devices, some of them may be 4:3, so 16:9 is going to be a little different, and you're going to have some black space here. Uh, if you're in one of the portrait modes, you can see it doesn't look right at all. So that's something to keep in mind when you're building an interaction. So let me show you something. So when you build your interaction, you have your interaction size. So I, let's say we're going to be happy with the 16.9. So I've got 16.9. I also want to publish this so that it's going to be available for mobile devices. But when I look at this in the portrait mode, it just doesn't look right because this should actually be flipped over so I can get a better view. And it's the same thing with the smartphone. So I should flip this. If I flip this, then I get a better looking interaction. So something that better accommodates the screen. So what you can do when you build your interactions, you'll notice that you have the ability to preview those modes right here. But you also have these properties. And when you select those properties, you can choose how you want that to play back on the device. So for example, since it's 16.9 and I know it's going to be a little wider, what I want to do is I don't want you to see this interaction in the portrait modes because it's just not going to look right. So I'm going to go ahead and put landscape only on both of these and hit OK. Now watch when I preview this. Watch what happens. So I'm on landscape. It looks fine, right? So that gives me a better uh, playback. If I click this and I was on my device and my, I was holding my device this way, it's going to tell me to rotate my device. And the same thing with the tablet. And then when I rotate it, I'm going to be able to see something that looks better on my device. So let's go ahead and close that. Now when you go to publish your interaction, just go ahead and click on publish. And you'll notice you have a few options. So you can publish to presenter. So if you're working in PowerPoint and working with Articulate Presenter, you can publish the interaction to one of the slides. And we'll look at more of that in detail at the presenter tutorials. You can publish to Articulate 360. And so you can publish that up to Articulate 360. And uh, it'll be in review and you can share that with other people. You can also publish for the web and Articulate Online and the LMS. So let's go ahead and go to the LMS. Um, when you're publishing, you notice that you can add a description. You can actually click on this here. And then you have even more properties. So if you want to add more detail, you can do that. Uh, you can add a description here. You can choose where you want to publish it to. And now here's something to consider as well. You have your publishing formats. So you'll notice by default it's going to publish to HTML5 with a flash fallback. What that means is it's going to publish to HTML5 and that'll be your primary uh, way to view the interaction. So if you open the, the link up in a browser, it's going to automatically load up HTML5. However, if you have an older browser that's not compatible with HTML5 and it has flash, then it'll play the flash. If you click on this link, you'll notice you can choose just HTML5, HTML5 first with Flash as a fallback. Or you can flip that where you have Flash first and then HTML5 and then you can have Flash only. So we'll just go ahead and stick with the defaults. And again, you can still publish to use on the Articulate Mobile Player if you want to do that as well. So you select those things. You hit Publish. Uh, if you're using an LMS, uh, you can choose your tracking. Right, and then change the reporting and tracking, and you can complete this information. 
hit OK. And then when you publish that, you're going to get the LMS package that you can then upload uh, to the LMS. Uh, generally, the publishing is all going to work the same way except for Presenter. That's going to publish to PowerPoint. But if you're working with 360, you've got the same publishing options. If you do the web, same publishing options. So you can see it all kind of works the same way. And then you can also publish to Word if you want to document. And then you can edit the document or send that out for people to review and mark up. So that's basically it. So when you're working in Articulate Engage, you can preview. You have the mobile preview now. And then you do have some mobile friendly publishing options where you can go from everywhere from HTML only to HTML Flash or all the way down to Flash only. If you have any questions, jump in the community and ask. And then look at the other tutorials to learn more about Articulate Engage.